We continue live in Digital Innovation Day, the space to talk about the economic recovery in Latin America with the technology and telecommunication services. We have to talk. Connect is important, but digital transformation is all. Thanks to the Undersecretary of the Economy from Chile for his presentation. You know that Chile is right now undergoing a huge transformation process in the economy and with different decisions, uh, very strong uh, around 5G. We now have, and it's a privilege, Ken Chilton, VIP and Chief Technology Office, Officer of Storage and Data Management and Huawei. You have uh, the screen, Ken. Thank you. Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, Converge Open and uh, Intelligent Data Infrastructure for the Intelligent World. So the world is entering its fourth industrial revolution. The digital economy is the new engine driving the global economy. And data is the new resource and intelligence is a new production force that's going to be driving us for the next 10 years in our journey in data management. AI and 5G are two technologies that have enabled this growth in data intelligence. Uh, these technologies have also created other technologies and advancements in, in technologies that are causing our data capacities to grow explosively. Uh, for example, uh, we used to have 1080p video, uh, then we moved to 4K and now we're into 8K and virtual reality and augmented reality video. Uh, these are enabled by the increased bandwidth available in the technology. Uh, we have self-driving cars. Uh, a lot of this uh, data has to be collected uh, and trained uh, in the cloud uh, to provide information for self-driving cars. Uh, this was not possible uh, before uh, recently uh, because of the advancements in AI technology and the bandwidths and the data capacities and the processing power that we have uh, to perform these operations. And so we see other advancements in, in enterprise data and digitally connected factories that also are resulting in huge growth of data and, and demands on our systems for performance. As we look at our enterprises, uh, we realize that the data is uh, key as uh, a foundation for what we're going to be accomplishing. And that exists in three stages uh, as we look at our current needs and our future uh, growth in our data centers. Uh, these three areas and three stages include the edge, our production and transaction environments, and our analysis capabilities. Each one of these uh, is based on data, and each one of them requires data management and storage, as well as data processing. Uh, but the workloads in each one of these scenarios differs. And, and the types of storage and the types of processing that is to be deployed in each one of these stages, uh, of course, differs. Uh, but each one needs to be satisfied and each one needs to, to be able to produce value for us in our uh, businesses. So the problem is, as we look at where we are today, um, we have three challenges. First of all, we have insufficient storage resources. Uh, our uh, data centers are really only storing about 2% of the data uh, that, we, that we currently process. Uh, and the demands on, from our businesses are to increase retention times of our data from seven days up to about 30 days in order to provide enough depth of data uh, for us to provide analysis to drive management decisions. Uh, and so this is going to result in an increase in the amount of data that we have to store. Um, and of course, there's going to be more demand of storing more of this information and not leaving 98% of it untapped. Uh, there's also application silos. Uh, we've talked for years about eliminating uh, application silos uh, and to be able to get better utilization out of our, our networks and storage and, and processing capabilities. This is only now starting to be able to 
to happen as, as applications are cloudified and, and being able to consolidate on a computing cloud. Uh, this is enabling us to finally eliminate these application silos and bring our storage together uh, in a converged way. But today, uh, applications in many environments are still highly siloed. Another uh, challenge that we have is that only 10% of our data that's generating is that we store in our data center is being mined for uh, the information and value that it contains. Uh, as we did a survey across uh, various uh, data centers, we saw that out of 1.3 million tables of data, only about 5,000 were being tapped for their value. Uh, this uh, is something that is going to change in the near future as uh, more and more capability uh, comes to the data center to allow us to get at that other 90% of the value uh, that's laying untapped in our data centers and can provide huge values for our businesses. So in order to accomplish this, first of all, we need to move from our siloed environment to a converged environment uh, where all of our resources can be put to the tasks at hand. We need to move from a complex environment to one that's intelligent, one that can manage itself. Uh, that makes it much more simplified for us to be able to uh, work uh, on the tasks that we need to, uh, to accomplish. And we need to move from a closed environment, which is highly dominated by proprietary technologies to a very open environment uh, where uh, we have our choice of choosing best in class uh, and to be able to work with an ecosystem uh, that allows us the greatest amount of flexibility. So as we look at our data infrastructure, there are four layers to or the data infrastructure. We need a, a computing layer that is diversified. Uh, we need to be able to choose the appropriate CPU resources uh, for the task at hand. Uh, and this might vary depending on that edge or data center or cloud computing uh, tasks at hand. Uh, the data storage layer also uh, is a very important and central part of our data infrastructure, as well as the data processing layer. And we also need to look at data virtualization as part of our data infrastructure as well. And all of these together uh, must be optimized to deliver the best cost and value per bit uh, throughout the whole data lifecycle in our data centers. And so in order to accomplish this, we need full convergence uh, for, that, for that optimal efficiency. There needs to be a convergence between uh, different storage types. Uh, and so Huawei has taken a very uh, close look at this and determined that we need uh, to satisfy four types of of data within one storage system that provides us with one copy of data and provides us with the ability to create one catalog of all that data for our analytics purposes in order for us to get the maximum value out of the data that we have and to eliminate waste in our data center by creating uh, needless copies of information. A second convergence that we need is a storage database convergence. Um, the database can work much more uh, uh, quickly, if it's in uses in storage computing, uh, this also simplifies the management of the databases. Uh, and databases are part of a data management strategy, uh, and it's best ma managed by uh, the same data data management systems uh, that manage your storage. Uh, there also can be a storage big data convergence, which also helps it to improve performance and allows uh, more applications to access. Uh, information, creating a very flexible environment for you to perform your analytics. And of course, databases and big data also need to be converged. Uh, a lot of your uh, uh, structured data uh, exists in databases, and that's where your most valuable data uh, tends to be. And so to be able to get at that information without creating uh, not, you know, copies and doing transfers and ETLs uh, would be a huge savings. Uh, and so database and big data convergence is also something for us to look forward to. And we also need to be mindful of the life cycle of data. There needs to be a convergence across the life cycle of your data that would include uh, the backup and archive uh, to be managed and to be treated as part of your data center uh, and not just an add on into your data center uh, so that you can get that value out of data that is historical. So as we look at what Huawei is doing in the data center, we see that Huawei is performing convergence at, at multiple levels of the data infrastructure. First of all, there's hardware convergence where we are uh, providing the capability for us to, in a single hardware 
uh, instance, uh, provide diverse storage media so that uh, all of the workload applications and all of your workflows can be satisfied by a single hardware platform. We're also providing data convergence uh, that allows us to tier uh, data uh, between backup and archive and provide you that life cycle sensitive uh, capability. Uh, we also have a, a high density snapshot and duplication capability that, that allows you to take care of making sure that you don't waste storage by creating needless copies of the same information. Uh, we also are paying close attention to protocol convergence. Uh, we provide a uh, capability of call, we call four in one, which provides object file block and HDFS all in a single system that allows them to share the same media uh, across all of these different protocols and even to share data sets so that there's not uh, copies needed between object and file and HDFS. There also is a edge cloud synergy that is necessary that Huawei is paying attention to. Uh, and that provides us uh, that synergy between your on-premise and the cloud, as well as uh, uh, synergy between the edge uh, and data center, and also a synergy between the edge and the cloud. And so this relationship uh, between these three different stages of, of, of data throughout your workflows um, it needs to be able to be managed in a single portal uh, to be able to be treated uh, in a, as a single entity uh, rather than as three separate uh, things that you have to manage increasing the complexity. And so as we look at the different scenarios in your data center, uh, there are basically three uh, different uh, types of, of, of processing that we do. And so we'll call these three different scenarios. And the first one that we wanna talk about is what happens in your core data center uh, mostly, which is the uh, production and transaction uh, infrastructure, uh, we call this ocean data. And ocean data has three major components. There's the storage layer, you have the processing layer, and then you also have the data management layer. Uh, by simplifying the protocol stack and uh, providing in storage computing technologies, uh, ocean data provides extreme performance uh, for all the workloads uh, inside your data center. Uh, Huawei provides ocean store all flash storage uh, to provide that data storage layer uh, with the ultimate in performance and reliability and DMS to provide the data management layer uh, with a very simplified and AI driven capability uh, to be able to manage the resources in ocean data uh, to make sure that you are getting the highest efficiency. And so this provides a very high, highly available, very optimal performance environment uh, that's based on open, an open ecosystem. And so it's very compatible with, with the operations that you need to run and gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, and this simplified O&M uh, gives you the ability to do uh, this at very low cost with very little OPEX uh, uh, required uh, in terms of the manpower needed to, to, to manage these systems, enabling your resources to do more and to handle more of the growth that we, is required uh, as we head into 2025. Fusion data is the second scenario. Uh, this is the what we call the uh, the intelligent uh, data lake capability. Uh, this supports your analytics environment and consists of four layers. There's the data storage layer. Uh, there's also a storage processing layer, a unified interface layer, and a data management layer. Uh, these four different layers are all uh, contained within the architecture of Fusion data. By in store by using in storage computing and uh, protocol interconnection technologies like the four and one, uh, fusion data will eliminate the data silos. We don't need to extract data from your production environment, move it over into another environment where you provide the analysis. Uh, analysis can be performed directly on the data sets uh, as they exist in production uh, using a, a SNAP technology that's very efficient if you need a frozen copy of the data or a golden copy of the data, uh, or it can be handled with live uh, data if, if your applications uh, can support that. Uh, and so this greatly maximizes your storage resource utilization, uh, provides you with on-demand capability, uh, it accelerates your analysis, brings you up to real time uh, so that you know what's happening today, not what happened uh, last week or last month or last year. 
Uh, it improves your development efficiency because DevOps can immediately get access to all the resources that they need. Uh, it also gives you much easier management. You're man not managing multiple environments to support your, your, your analytics, but it's all in one. Uh, and it provides you with a very easy way to, to, to monitor and to see what's going on in your data center. Fusion Cube is the third scenario. Um, and this is uh, oriented toward the edge cloud synergy and, and the edge environment. Uh, this is a fully integrated environment where everything, including computing, storage, network, and security is contained within a single system. Uh, this greatly simplifies your deployment of these systems and provides you uh, with a very cost-effective way of, of dealing with remote uh, data center needs. Uh, and so this allows uh, you to uh, deploy quickly, uh, provide you with that edge cloud uh, collaborative environment that you, that you need to satisfy the edge scenarios. Uh, and uh, it's, it's available in multiple sizes to support a variety uh, of edge scenarios. Huawei's data protection solutions um, would include, um, of course, the archive and backup that we talked about earlier uh, in a very simplified fashion. Uh, you can provide backup uh, to the cloud. You can provide backup to a, to a backup appliance. Um, and we also have backup software that's available to run uh, on uh, existing hardware. Um, Blu-ray storage is a very cost-effective archive means. Uh, it provides you with nearline uh, accessibility to your, to your data. Uh, you can also archive to, to public clouds uh, in, in the uh, uh, same uh, edge uh, solution. Um, but of course, you also need to provide for disaster recovery. Uh, we uh, have a very wide range of continuous data protection and SNAP technologies, as well as a lot of remote replication technologies, uh, including the active passive, active active three data center, uh, and you know just about any uh, replication strategy that you can come up with. Uh, we have we have uh, solutions for in our remote replication repertoire. Um, and so all of these uh, capabilities are necessary uh, because all of this information has value and losing this information or not having access to the information at the time that you need it uh, is, is, is very damaging to your business. And so uh, Huawei takes a great uh, interest in making sure that we have all of the data protection solutions to protect all of your data throughout their entire life cycle. Of course, all this is not very useful if you can't manage it. Uh, Huawei has our data management solution uh, that allows you to uh, get the most effective uh, use out of all of your uh, storage resources uh, with the minimal amount of human involvement. Uh, and our DMS strategy includes three layers, uh, beginning with device AI, which provides real-time support of Huawei storage systems. Uh, we have our data center, which also uses uh, AI technology in an environment called DME uh, that provides a data management engine uh, by which AI is deployed to manage your, your resources within the data center, to manage your storage, to manage your switches, uh, to manage even third party uh, storage systems, uh, all with a single pane of glass across your data center uh, and, and provide orchestration and scripting capability uh, for you to integrate with applications in your data center. We also have a cloud layer that provides you with the uh, ability to manage your systems remotely. Um, it provides advanced uh, AI technologies and model training, uh, as well as our expert advice from, from Huawei experts uh, to help you to manage your resources very efficiently, effectively, and to be uh, able to uh, reduce costs uh, and improve performance uh, of your data center. Uh, this is also the portal by which you, you get access uh, on the go uh, using mobile applications through e-service. So uh, we looked at today uh, the different scenario-based solutions. We talked about ocean data, which is the production trans transaction infrastructure. We talked about what we do uh, at Fusion Data for providing you with your analytic support with data lake infrastructure. And we talked about the edge necessity and, and what we do at the edge with Fusion Cube. Um, key components in, this, in these uh, different scenarios would be ocean store, all flash storage, uh, which would include our ocean store Dorado, uh, which is the world's fastest all flash array. 
uh, Ocean Store Distributed Storage, uh, which would include our Ocean Store Pacific series of products uh, that gives you the uh, uh, scale out solution that provides you a four in one uh, capability uh, where you can do block, file, object, and HDFS all within the same system and to be able to share data sets. And we have our Fusion Cube products, which give you that five in one capability uh, to provide you all the resources you need to quickly deploy at the edge. Uh, and this all is managed by our DMS management stack um, that uh, deploys uh, in your data center to give you AI technology uh, to manage all of your uh, resources in your data center. And of course, we uh, build this all in a very open way, as I mentioned at the very beginning. Uh, we need to have an open architecture and an open way of working uh, and interworking in our, in our uh, data centers. And Huawei has greatly embraced uh, the ability to, to have these open APIs, open platforms and tools, and to work with standards and communities to make sure that uh, you are not stuck uh, with a particular solution uh, that doesn't work with something else. And so we, we greatly support uh, making sure that everything works together in a very open way, uh, embracing the open software uh, communities and making sure that our systems uh, provide you with the flexibility and cost sensitive capabilities that you need. So I thank you very much uh, for paying attention during this uh, presentation. I hope it was very useful for you and feel free to to reach out if you have uh, questions or, or, or have uh, specific needs that we can help you with.